A lot of people still hanging out on the field, kind of taking in the moment. Sam Gannon is down there with some more interviews from some members of this Texas Rangers team that won a World Series for the first time tonight. Sam, how's it going? Yeah, Mike, the field, things are getting a little bit quieter down here in the field. But again, they're going to be celebrating this World Series title for a long, long time. In fact, we even got one of these hats as well. Feels pretty good for the Texas Rangers again, bringing home their first World Series championship in franchise history. When you talk about some of the guys on this team, there's a good mix of veterans and rookies. There's been some big trade acquisitions. When you go back a couple years ago after that 2021 season when the Rangers lost 102 games, they went and got two all-star studs in Corey Seager and Marcus Simeon. And when we've talked with Mark, talked about Marcus Simeon throughout this postseason run, he was in a bit of a slump. And really, he broke out of that last night in game four. Tonight in game five, it was no different. That two-run home run that put the Rangers up five to nothing for good to seal that victory here at Chase Field and we got a chance to catch up with him after the win along with some others as well. Marcus, what does this mean to be able to do this with your family here, your kids, your wife, everything? They mean everything to me. So to hey baby. Go get them this all is why stuff. this is why I come I show up to win a World Series, but I play for them. You know I want them to you know have a better life than me. And baseball has provided that. The way that you and Seeger were able to step up when the moment was the brightest yesterday and now today, what does that mean to you? Yeah, that's why we, you know, that's why we show up every day and, and work for a World Series win. Um, we played so well down the stretch. You know, guys got hot. We had a couple injuries, uh, but just a deep group and everybody worked so hard to, you know, just be at the top. You know, that's where we are right now. First World Series title in franchise history. How does it feel? Like I said, it feels so good. I'm happy for the fans. I'm happy for everybody who's a part of this organization. You know, we, we've set the tone for what we want to be moving forward. Um, there's a lot of losing, you know, the last two years before this, and we've turned it around so quickly. <laughs> You guys battled adversity all year long. What does this moment feel like? It's amazing. Uh, this team is truly resilient, and there's no other team I'd rather be a part of. What does it mean to do it with this group? It means everything. Uh, it's truly special, and um, hey! <laughs> uh, we, we really enjoy it. Each and every guy enjoys showing up to the field each and every day. Bruce Bochy, what can you say? First year back, he just seems to have such a calmness about him that's spread throughout the entire clubhouse. Yeah, I think he was a perfect guy for this for this team. Uh, his baseball IQ, his knowledge, and, and just his, his poise at, at the helm. Uh, we can look at Torin um, no matter the situation, and he's always going to be have that, that calm, stoic look on his face, and we know everything's going to be all right. Go enjoy it with your family. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Tell me, what are the emotions right now winning uh -huh. the first World Series in franchise history. You know, it's just incredible. Uh, 15 and 16, win the playoffs, and, you know, we, we lost out, but all those years in between up to this year and just we're losing and just tough years to endure. You know, a lot of rebuilding and, and trying different things, and I don't know, just this year, just the team came together. Uh, you know, the front office put together, gave us a really nice team this offseason, but we endured so much this year, so many injuries, you know, so many highs and lows, uh, but we stayed the course, and it's just a great group to be around, and, and Bruce Bochy is just a steady hand and knows what to do and when to do it and why, so it's just, he's amazing, like everything he touches seems to turn to gold, you know, so. He said he was sitting in his recliner one moment, yeah, he, and now he's here so he, bringing home his fourth World yeah, Series he, title. He, he's got the Midas touch. <laughs> You heard there, uh, Rangers third base coach Tony Beasley. Bruce Bochy is the only manager in MLB history to win with the team that he beat. You know, he beat the Rangers back in 2010 with the Giants, but he fit in so seamlessly here, Mike, with the Rangers. It was meant to be that he came out of that three-year retirement. I think what's been so fun about this team and covering this franchise throughout this entire playoff run is that every single player and every single coach has their own individual story. Every player, every member of this team has gone through individually ups and downs, but in the end, they come together for a historic moment here tonight at Chase Field, bringing home the franchise's first World Series ever. 
Sam, it's great that you talked to Tony Beasley because we give Bochi a ton of credit, and he, and he absolutely deserves it. He's the manager. He's the leader of this team. He's won four World Series now. He deserves every bit of credit he gets. But he's always quick to credit his coaching staff, guys, you know, like, like Beasley, who we don't hear from all that often. Beasley was interim manager uh, briefly for the Rangers, of course, but he, he's one of the most popular members of the, of the Rangers in terms of uh, the, the players, the way they respect him, the way they relate to him. So I'm glad that you talked with, uh, with Beasley. What was it like to, to see the families interacting down there? That was really neat with Marcus Simeon and, and his kids. He became a dad for the fourth time, of yeah. course, during the <laughs> Playoffs, so he has a, a growing family. Yeah, he had all his kids right around him asking what this was, meeting the microphone. But yeah, I think that's what makes this night so special is all of the Rangers players' families are here tonight, and you can't ask for a better moment. Literally everyone here on the field enjoying it together. And what better way to do it than with your family, friends, and loved ones? Sam, one more question. Do you still have that hat? Is it still there? Oh, I, I still have it. I still have it. It's right here. Maybe it, I should just fit, put it does on. It does it fit your head? Does it does it fit your head? No, it. It's oh, a wait, miracle wait, here if we it go. does. Does it? It fits. It does. Okay. I, I have a little right. bit of a melon head, well, but I'm wearing it. It fits. How does it look? It's, it's fully <laughs> extended. I'm sure. No, it, it looks it looks good. <laughs> Sam Gannon. <laughs> Thank Thanks you. very much. <laughs> Rangers win the World Series in five games, 5 nothing. the final here in Phoenix.